Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what is contempt of cop? Per wiki, which has as fine a definition as you'll find anywhere, contempt of cop is law enforcement jargon in the United States for behavior by people towards police that they, the cops, perceive as being either disrespectful or insufficiently deferential to their authority. It's a play on the phrase contempt of court, and it is not an actual offense. The phrase is associated with unlawful, arbitrary arrest and detention of individuals, often for expressing or exercising rights guaranteed to them by the Constitution. Contempt of cop is often discussed in connection with police misconduct, such as excessive use of force or police brutality as a reaction to perceived disrespectful behavior rather than for any legitimate law enforcement purpose. Contempt of cop is a form of occupational arrogance. It occurs where a police officer believes, whether it's actual or perceived, that her or his authority either cannot or should not be challenged or questioned. From such an officer's perspective, this can involve both verbal and physical challenges to authority, and it ranges from disobeying instructions to insisting that a cop is violating your rights, to threatening to filing a complaint, to fleeing, to taking a swing at an officer, and so on. While neither legal nor acceptable, contempt of cop is both a very real and a reasonably foreseeable possibility where one, again, be it either in reality or simply as perceived, challenges, demeans, insults, or humiliates a police officer. So if you either refuse or fail to follow instructions to the cop's satisfaction, again, whether those instructions are lawful, rational, reasonable, or not, if you willfully are defiant or uncooperative, if you're disrespectful or if you're profane, if you levy a challenge to an officer's authority, be it by telling officer unfriendly, I know the law, or simply by proclaiming your rights, if you engage in obstructive behavior, be it a passive resistance, either to being handcuffed or to being redirected into a SWAT car, or if you actually batter or strike a police officer, or flee on foot or in a vehicle, whatever. In all of these situations, you're likely to be held in contempt of cop. Apart from picking up what are known as gratuitous charges, such as resisting arrest, obstruction of justice, or worse, contempt of cop can result in the use of excessive force, ranging from a baton beat down, getting tasered, or even a shellacking by a gaggle of gendarmerie. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.